Here's my name, the public library. I'm your school library's cousin. I'm always happy when someone new discovers me. Jay, oh, he's an old friend, but he's brought two of his new friends to find out all about me, Barbara and Philip, and I'm delighted. This is Ms. Samuels, the children's librarian. People always come to her when they need any help. Jay would like to know where he can find books on space travel. Well, Ms. Samuels can tell him, with a little help from a very important part of me, my card catalog. People who use it know that books about traveling in space are listed under space flight. She'll find the book by its number. Oh, yes, Ms. Samuels knows how I'm arranged very well. When you know a book's number, you can find where the book should be. And is there a book about space travel on my shelf that Jay will be interested in? Yes. While Jay looks through his book, Philip and Barbara can see what else I have that they might be interested in. I have so many books with stories and poems and pictures. I could make all sorts of suggestions about different kinds of subjects. Imaginary ones. about places and people. And things that really happened. I have so many suggestions, in fact, that I could go on practically forever suggesting things to read about. All of us libraries are really wonderful that way. But Barbara's already found something she's interested in. It's a book about a hero of the American Revolution, Paul Revere. He made a famous ride at midnight to warn the Americans that the British were coming. The book tells how the lantern signals were sent to Paul Revere and just how he planned his heroic work. Oh, yes. I have many books to read about real people and real things that happened. You can learn a lot from me, but I can help you just have fun, too, because I have many books about things that aren't real at all, that are just good stories, like The Little Engine That Could. Have you ever read about that little engine that said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and it could? I have stories about imaginary things and imaginary stories about real things and real people, like John Henry. Do you know that story about the man who worked on the railroad and the contest he had with a man using a machine? You don't have to take books out. You can read them here, in all sorts of cozy, nice places that I have. You see, you know what these children are reading about? All sorts of interesting things. One is reading a book about cowboys. Another is reading a book on sports. The third book is about the circus.
Oh, good. Philip and Barbara have discovered my magazine section. With Jay's help, magazines are filled with games and stories. Librarians keep the latest ones on display. They keep me up to date in magazines, and they also help keep me handsome. Posters do it, and so do the other displays that the librarians put up on my walls. Your school library probably has interesting displays too. Sometimes my displays are in cases like this one. We have dolls this month. <laughs> they're cute little things. I know what they're waiting for now. I overheard Jay telling Philip and Barbara that I'm having a puppet show today. And Jay's right. Oh, I'm glad they're coming. My shows are fun. Well, what is your dad like? Okay, I am sure you're in my ears. He's not that bad, and I have more like Records? Oh, yes, I have records. I have record players, too. If you want to listen here, you can use earphones, so you won't bother anyone, and listen to all kinds of music. And I have a film department. You can borrow films the same way you borrow books. I have lots of films. I was enjoying such a nice, peaceful nap. You can go back to sleep, partner, on your back. Ha, 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 the Durango Daredevil strikes again. Help! Someone turn me over! Carry me over the water, thou curtle friar. The friar took Robin on his back and stepped into the knee. And coming to the middle stream, there he threw Robin in. And choose thee, choose thee, fine fellow, whether thou wilt sink or swim. We show movies here once a week. Slides? I have them, too. And a viewer to see them on. You can see pictures from all over the world. There are so many things going on here that sometimes I surprise myself. I really do. But my librarians know me very well. They can help anybody find just what that anybody wants. Jay knows that. Oh, I knew it would happen. Time to go. I do hope Barbara and Philip apply for library cards before they leave. It looks like they're going to. Oh. They've noticed my bulletin board. Good. It tells what's happening here and out in the community, too. I haven't met Philip and Barbara before because they're new in town. That's why they don't have library cards. Are they going to ask Ms. Roberts for applications? Oh, good. That's what they're doing. They'll have to take them home for their parents to sign. But it's not much trouble at all. Applications are easy to fill out. If you need a card, the librarian in your library will show you how to get one. I know, having a card means you're the library's friend, like Jay is. Well, they're going now. Goodbye. I'll tell your school library that I met you. And the bookmobile, too. Hurry back. I'll miss you. 
They've made me so happy by discovering all the good things in me. Why don't you discover your library? If you haven't already, make your library happy too.